My name is Peter Derman. I'm a minimally invasive spine surgeon. So there's a lot of hype around minimally invasive spine surgery and a lot of surgeons are kind of advertising themselves as minimally invasive spine surgeons despite having kind of a variety of techniques, some of which lean more toward the traditional surgery in my opinion than the minimally invasive. And so it can be difficult for patients to really understand and evaluate their surgeons. There are a couple things that they can think about uh, when they're doing this process. Uh, one is patient reviews online, and so this isn't a perfect thing, and you can't read all into it, but, but obviously you don't want to go to a surgeon that only has negative reviews. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is you can look into where, the, where that uh, physician trained, and so there are a lot of very highly uh, sought after training programs, and, and you'd like somebody who is trained at one of those, educated at good places. That's something important. When you're talking to the surgeon, obviously you want somebody that, that you feel is empathetic and that resonates with you because it's not just about the surgery itself, but it's about the follow-up care and, and establishing a relationship. And that's a really big component of things as well. And then the other thing is, I think it's important if you have any question to, to get second opinions. Um, I always say that people spend more time researching their choice of television than their actual physician and their, even their spine surgeon. And so I'm never personally offended. And I frequently encourage people to get second opinions if they're not comfortable. And that allows you to kind of, you know, get, a, get an idea of, of the personalities and also the surgeries that's recommended, what the post-operative course might look like. Um, and, and have an idea of, uh, for yourself, what would be kind of the least invasive course of action. Another important question to ask is, is how many of these surgeries has the doctor done? And you shouldn't feel bashful about asking that question. It's an important question. So you don't want the person who does maybe one or two of these a year, um, who kind of dabbles in the minimally invasive realm. You want, you want somebody who, that's their entire practice. And that's what I, I would start off with. 